Joe Biden is a career politician. He's been in office for over 48 years. Wait till you hear what Donald Trump in 1988 said about Joe Biden back then. You all gotta check this out. Donald Trump is arguably one of the most controversial people in modern day society. Now, why he's so controversial is up for debate. However, the one thing that people can't disagree about today when it comes to him is that people either love him or hate him. There are not many who are in between. But the crazy thing is, before he ran for president, he wasn't even as close to as polarizing as he is today. And the craziest part is he's been saying the same exact things for years. Don't believe me? Well, let's just get right into it. Now, it's no secret that politics today are starting to become more about power, corruption, and manipulation rather than actual competence for the job at hand. In my opinion, we see this no clearer than with our current president right now. However, the reality of politics today becomes even more shocking when you hear what young Donald Trump said in an early 1980s interview. Roll it. Would you like to be the president of the United States? I really don't believe I would, Ronald, but I would like to see somebody as the president who could do the job, and there are very capable people in this country. Most people who are capable are not running for office. It, most men are frightened of politics today. It is a shame, isn't it? Yes. It is a shame. The most capable people are not necessarily running for political office, and that is a very sad commentary on the country. They had major corporations, and they had this and that, but they are not running for political office. Now, what he said is still, in my What's so fascinating about that is that the presidential debate just happens, and he said word for word pretty much that exact sentiment. He's like, Biden, if you did your job, I would not be running right now. The only reason I'm here is because I see what such a bad job you're doing. I want to bring America back to prosperity because it has given me so much so that I feel it is my duty to give back to this nation. And this goes all the way back to the Roman times. I believe it was Seneca who said, it's a shame that the people who don't want to run for office are generally the people who deserve the office the most. And oftentimes the people who yearn for that power and will do whatever it takes to achieve that rank are often the people you do not want in charge. And completely accurate in the political climate today. We have seen over and over and over that people would rather be politically correct than actually get the job done right. Again, I think Biden is the perfect example of this. Joe Biden barely knows his own name at this point, but people would still rather vote for him because of what Trump said on Twitter. People would rather look politically correct in the public eye and just watch their country deteriorate, which blows my mind. Nevertheless, Trump had more to say in this interview. Roll it. Why wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would, I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. And that's a sad commentary for the political process. What do you guys think about this? I think the accuracy of his statements are so spot on that it's actually scary. In quotes, he said, somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain, but a big smile. Donald Trump seriously predicted the future in this interview. But surprisingly, this is not the only time. In an interview on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1988, young Donald Trump sat down as a guest. Now, mind you, this is before Trump expressed any desire to become president. Every time he was asked, he would flat out say no. However, in this interview, he said something that rings true today. Roll it. To me, and I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not. But I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't. But I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country. Now, he stated for the first time that even though he had no interest in that current moment, he could never rule it out completely 
because he could only watch the US deteriorate so much. But then, Oprah asks him another question that just as accurately predicts the future almost to a T. And also, while you're watching this, keep in mind of what Trump is saying because if you compare it to what he's saying today, there is almost no differences. The only difference is maybe he's a bit more brash in modern times. Nevertheless, roll the clip. You've said though that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. And, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been. What I love so much about that statement right there is the very first thing he said. He has what it takes to become a president just by that mindset. I don't go into anything to lose. They once asked Floyd Mayweather, who had never lost a boxing match in his life, whether he ever thinks about losing and tarnishing his perfect record. He's like, that thought never even enters my mind. The same rings true about Donald Trump in America. He only wants to envision America as leading the entire world. He wants America number one always. That's why his slogan is America first. That is why he is so determined to get back into office and to fight all this corruption and all this terrible stuff that's happening in our nation today. It seems like the everyday American is being forgotten about and disrespected on a daily basis. Illegal immigrants are being treated better than American citizens. People who are paying taxes, doing the right things, are being disrespected at a level I have never seen before. That's why this election really has a lot at stake. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think Donald Trump and back in 1988 knew that one day he was going to run for president and that he was just kind of playing a coy back then? Or do you think he genuinely just saw what was happening in this nation and was so disgusted that he had to take action? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear that. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash a like, comment, subscribe, and wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.